There are a number of ways to make a driveway over a contoured site and we're just going to look at one of them. Over here we can see that the site goes up and then back down towards the garage. So I'm just going to close that up and here I am on the AHD level which is Australian height datum level and I'm just going to mark out where I want my driveway to go and And first of all, I'm going to select my mesh and then drag a copy of it to the same position. So if I just left mouse click on it and as I move it slightly, I hold the control key down and a little plus sign comes up and then I take it back to the same spot. Once I've done that, the one that I've got selected and I might change the material so I can see it and the material that I would like this to be asphalt. So if I go back to the 3D window, we can see that I've got a site there that's made out of asphalt, but we can still see underneath it the other mesh. So then I'm going to select this first mesh and we make sure we've got the right one because we've, we can see it's got asphalt there. And I might just draw, draw a spline over where I want the driveway to go. And on this side, I might get it to go. And then once I've drawn that, I select my mesh, make sure I've got the asphalt mesh, and then spell out. While I'm on the polygon tool, spell out the mesh. Just going to cut it straight down the middle. Now I've deleted that side, then I do the same thing to the other side. Left mouse click, wait for the minus sign to come up, subtract from polygon icon, and then zip around. Zoom out. Select the rest of the mesh, double click and finish that off. Now if I do select that, I can actually get rid of those 2D lines. And if I go back to the 3D window, I should be able to do the rest of it from the 3D window. Now we can see the meshes at the same level because every now and then the asphalt's coming out and sometimes the green's coming out. So now what I can do is maybe lower that to, even if it's only 10 mil, uh, but I might lower it to minus 350 mil. So it's disappeared. And then I might use the solid element operations. So then I'll go to the design menu, solid element operations. Then I'm going to make sure that this mesh is a solid mesh because it seems to work better with the solid element operations and that is actually going to be the operator and then I'm going to deselect that and select the other mesh and this can be the target then I'm actually going to deselect it again then I'm going to do a subtraction with upwards extrusion then when I execute that we can see that we have a nice little lip on each side of the mesh and we have our driveway